of some data set because you can't do anything in that without a data set. Mm -hmm. But if it open, This is the same one I believe I was talking about. Okay. Okay. Now, okay. We're going to run something here. First thing we're going to do is we're going to run a model. Uh, linear model regression. Okay. The dependent variable, we're going to use this ATT index. We're going to have a constant term. We're going to have real GDP. We're going to have an employment rate. We're going to have urban population. Okay. Then in terms of output, well, okay, in terms of options, I don't know if this is a time series or not. Let's just assume it is. Let's do autocorrelation and let's do periods equals two. Okay? Mm -hmm. So that'll correct for uh, zero correlation. It won't affect your uh, Y hat, so it's really not important to do that for reset. But if you're right. trying to correct for autocorrelation, this is how you do it. Right. Okay, display prediction of residual. Now we don't want to do that. We want to keep the residuals and we want to call them YH. Okay. okay. Now, what that's going to do is that's going to add. Let's bring this up over here. I can't do that yet. I'm going to run. Now, let's bring this up. Down at the bottom, there's going to be a YH right here. Let's get rid of these because part of this is. I so see when you did that, that made the YH, or was that already in? Yeah, no, that's that's what made the YH. Okay. That's the Y hat, that's the uh, estimated dependent variable. Well, that's a bunch of them. So Okay, now, and here's your results right here, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and recreate these so you'll know how I did it, okay? okay? Do insert, add them into project, variable, and up here you call it YH2. You can call it anything you want. I'm going to call it YH2. Right. And that's just going to be YH hat 2. Okay? Okay. That's square and YH. The edit the data set, there it is. Then you're gonna do YH3. Same way. YH3. This is YH. Head. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, okay. There you go, wage three. Now, we're going to do one more. We're going to do wage four. Same thing. We're just going to raise wage the fourth power now. Wage four is equal to wage at four. Okay? okay? Now, then what we're going to do is we're going to rerun this thing here. So, we're going to do model, linear models, regression, dependent variables is going to be attendance index. I've seen this attendance index. I don't even know what the hell it is. One real GDP, unemployment rate, and urban pop. And then we're going to do this. We're going to do YH2, YH3, and YH4 within there. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So they're the 5th, 6th, and 7th betas, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to do options. I'm going to do impose restrictions. I'm going to do B, open, 5, close, equals 0, comma. B open six close equals zero comma. B open seven close equals zero. Okay, now what we've done there is we've jointly restricted the coefficient of y hat uh, squared y hat cubed y hat to the fourth all to be zero. That's what that does. Mm -hmm. Okay, then we're going to run. Okay, now as you can see, these things, these coefficients are y hat two, three, and four, they're uh, raised to the 10 to the minus 16th and minus 17th power, so they're zero. damn small. They're, they're effectively zero. Yeah. Okay. Then we look up here at this uh, uh, F restriction right here. So this is the F of 3 and 31. This is the reset F. Mm -hmm. It's 43.52, which is statistically significant. 
at any conventional level. As long as this number here is smaller than 0.05 or 0.01, then it's significant. Okay? So, this thing that I just ran here has specification error problems. Okay? And this is the reset F right here. The one, if you've done the restrictions, it says restrictions, F3 and 31. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Y'all set? Yes. Okay.